this is my most liked, least used light. Which is a shame, because it really is a good light. But I'll, I'll explain why I don't use it a lot later in the review. It's a Army Tech Prime A2, which uh, means it takes two AA batteries. It has six modes and a warm white XML2 emitter that uh, measures about 3600 Kelvin. So it, it's a nice warm light. Um, I'll briefly just show you how it works. As I mentioned, six modes going from a very low moonlight mode. It actually has two moonlight modes. Uh, and it goes up to a high of 500 lumens. The interface is very simple. It's got a single button. You click to turn it on. And you um, press and hold to change outputs. Now it has three main output modes, a low, medium, and a high. The uh, double click will put you into turbo, and this is 500 lumens. Uh, another double click will put you down into the main mode sequence again, and it will cycle just by pressing and holding the button, low, medium, high. It does have mode memory, so if you shut the light off and turn it back on, it comes back on in whatever mode you left. And that includes the moonlight modes and turbo. So if I put it to turbo and shut the light off, next time I turn it on, it'll come back on in turbo. The moonlight modes, uh, as mentioned, are not part of the main sequence. You access those by pressing and holding from off. And you can see that it came on in a very low, they call it firefly mode. I, I generally call these moonlight modes. This is less than 0.1 lumens. And again, you can cycle by just pressing and holding the button. It'll cycle up to the next moonlight mode, which is around a lumen. And then when you press and hold again, it'll cycle up to low, which is around uh, 10 or 15 lumens, medium, which is around 50 lumens, uh, high, which is about 150, and then you know it'll cycle back low, medium, high. Double click to, for maximum. So it's got a nice, simple interface. I really like that. I love the tint. It's a warm white, uh, which you don't often find in production lights. You don't usually find lights that are this warm. You can generally find a lot of lights down to about 4,000 Kelvin. This is the only one I've seen that in a production light that will give you uh, warmer than that, which, uh, as I mentioned before, about 3,600 Kelvin. It's really well built. It's um, stainless steel bezel. Um, it's got double O-rings for water tightness in it. Um, it's very thick aluminum construction and heavy. It's actually uh, warranted for a 10 meter drop. Most lights are only warranted for one meter drops. So this thing you could literally drop off a cliff and it would, uh, it would still survive. Uh, similarly for water, I believe it's a uh, 10 meter depth in water. I think most lights are only about a meter or, or less than that for water resistance. Now, I don't think it's a, it's a dive light. I wouldn't use it for that, but you know, you're not going to damage this light by uh, dropping it in water or dropping it um, onto hard surface. It's very well protected with the stainless steel and the thick aluminum. So, you know, okay, so I've been praising this light. Why don't I use it? Well, it doesn't really fit a niche. For instance, if I want a portable light, I will use something like uh, an Astrolux A01 or this uh, DQG Tiny AA. Both of these lights uh, have twist interfaces. So, you know, they're, they'll put out one or 200 lumens. This is a AAA, it puts out about 100 lumens. This is a AA, it'll put out about 200 lumens. Twisty interface, that's why you get them to be small. So these are great pocketable lights. So if I just want a light to carry around, I know I'm not going to be extensively using a flashlight. I'll use something like this. Usually it'll be the Astrolux A01 just because it's so light um, that it just disappears into a pocket. If I need something a little brighter um, or with a switch that it, so I don't want to deal with a twisty, I'll use something like this uh, uh, Zebralite SC5W. And it will put out 500 lumens as well. To compare these two lights, you know, they're about the same brightness. I might give a slight edge to the uh, to the Army Tech light here, but um, you know, they're very close in brightness, putting out about 500 lumens. The uh, you know, which is which is great. 
the thing is with a single double A cell that this zebra light takes, it's not going to last for too long at 500 lumens. I usually use it on, uh, you know, a couple of hundred lumens. I'll step it down and use it on something like that or, or a lower mode. So if I just want a light that I know I'm going to be using, um, you know, I need a bright light, but I'm not going to be using it for extended periods of time, I'll use something like the zebra light. If I know I'm going to be outside for a longer period of time, I need a bright light, I'll use something like this uh, Thorfire uh, TK01, or Thorfire TK4A, sorry. And this is uh, takes four AA cells, and we'll put out a thousand lumens, but, uh, you know, it, it's not really pocketable. So this is mainly meant, you know, if I'm going outside for a walk, I need extended run time, a very bright light with good throw, I'll use something like a 4AA light like this. And that leaves very little room for a, a, a 2AA light. I like 2AA lights. They make great glove compartment lights. Uh, they have the longer run times than you get with a single AA, usually a little brighter than a single AA. But they don't give you the kind of throw and uh, long run time that a 4AA light would give. So that's why it doesn't quite fit into a niche that I use. Like I said, it's a, it's a great light, but um, I tend to use it for, for watching movies. Because it has a nice warm uh, tint, I'll just uh, tail stand it and it'll uh, bounce light off the ceiling and it makes for a nice smooth light in the living room for watching TV. So it's a good light for that, but you know how many people are gonna use a flashlight for watching movies? I don't know. But anyway, it, like I said, it's a good light. I really like it. I just hardly ever use it. Anyway, thanks for watching.